Hey, welcome to Cal Free Kicks. On this channel, I review leather free sneakers only, and this video is all about the Adidas Supernova 2 Parlay. Welcome to the channel. If you've not seen one of my videos before, I always look into five different categories when I review a pair of sneakers. Then at the end of the video, I will give these Adidas Supernova 2 Parlays an overall rating out of five stars. Don't forget, if you do like what you see as you're going along and you want to show a little bit of extra support, do not forget to click the little thumbs up like button below on your device. And whilst you're down there, if you have not already, please take time to subscribe to the channel. So let's kick this review off then by first checking out these Parlay Adidas Supernova 2s out on feet. So another collaboration between Adidas and Parley or Parley, if you're not aware of who they are, they are an organization that recycle plastic waste from the oceans and put it to a better use, which is on this shoe making up 50% of this fly knit upper because it's made from recycled plastic waste in collaboration with Parley. 50% of the polyester also used in the upper of the sneaker is also recycled. And this shoe has 10% less carbon emission output than the standard Supernova 2s that you can also purchase through the Adidas app and website at the moment. This Parley version though is a little bit more expensive, but I just think looks wise, they do look much better. Now with Parleys, you do get a fly knit upper on these that is very lightweight. You also get on these kind of a Nike Air Max 97 look with the embroidered wave like detail and runs all the way around the shoe and through the toe box. You get some kind of extra canvas like fabric detailing around the bottom of the shoe as you move towards the heel with some over exaggerated stitching as well. That all sits on top of an Adidas Boost midsole for your heel and it's exaggerated and it's huge and it really pops out of the shoe which I really like. And then the other part of the midsole is a combination with the Adidas Bounce midsole which is an EVA foam midsole much firmer to the touch but does feel quite nice under feet which we'll talk about more in the comfort section. All of that sits on top of this Adidas outsole that looks almost like a cheap kind of Adidas Ultra Boost version. It's not continental, but it has very similar characteristics. And also you can see the exposed midsole in the shoe as well in this part, middle part of the sneaker there. Overall, I think it's a good looking shoe. I do think they're very low cut though. You can see here that the heel unit for it is quite low cut and it doesn't really sit that high on your foot. But overall, I do think they're a good looking sneaker. The other colorways that they come in at the moment is the white and the black, and I definitely think the black has a lot going for it. Overall, a nice looking sneaker. Now I wanna move on to their comfort, where I wanna put this dual midsole to the test on my back doorstep. So not normally a fan of combined midsoles, but it really works on this sneaker because I think you get a really nice amount of boost midsole towards the heel of your foot. It's a large amount, it's exaggerated, and it does feel really nice and cushioned underneath the heel of your feet. Because it is so large at the back, your feet do get pushed a little bit forwards in the sneaker when you're walking in them. Uh, but I do think it works with this firmer bounce midsole. Now, yes, the bounce midsole is on the firmer side because it is an EVA foam midsole rather than these little pelleted boost midsoles that you get but it does feel nice and cushioned under feet. It's definitely firmer than the Boost, but I do think overall the ride underfoot for these sneakers gives a nice amount of responsive bounce back, as you could see on the step test. Now moving to the upper of the sneaker and the fit. Now around your heel, you get a really large amount of padding. And to be honest, though, it does feel quite hard. There's a really hardened heel cup on these shoes. And I'm just a bit worried that if this was to wear down, that would impact the back of your feet. But at the moment, as they're brand new, they feel fine under feet. You've got a really nice cushioned foam uh, tongue on these as well. 
The rest of the sneaker feels really nice. The only thing I will say about these is the fit. I would go at least a full size up on these. Now, I know that boost shoes normally do come in a little bit smaller, but these come in really small. The toe box for these is very small. Now, I've got perfect length UK size 10 feet, and I did feel that my toes were touching the end when I was walking in them and bending and flexing, so I'd definitely go half, or maybe even a full size up in these because I have slightly wider than average feet and the toe box in these is very narrow. You can see from the foot opening that it's almost exactly the same size as the toe box area here and that normally indicates that they're gonna be quite narrow and for these, I definitely felt they were on the narrow side. But overall, a really nice comfortable shoe, just do not forget to go at least half a size up when you buy these. Now I wanna move on to their weight where I wanna pop them on the scales. What a great weight for these sneakers, coming in at 302 grams. Anything for me under the 350 gram mark, I consider lightweight. But when they come in at around the 300 gram mark, I'd definitely say they're an extremely lightweight pair of sneakers. I don't think you're gonna get that with the standard version because I think you're saving all the weight on the upper of these because this fly knit is incredibly lightweight on the upper. There's a lot of chunky midsole to this shoe, so to keep them around the 300 gram mark is great work by Adidas and Parley as well. So I think overall, they're a really, really nice lightweight sneaker. Now I wanna move on to their breathability where I wanna pump this fly knit up a full of smoke to see how breathable they are. Amazing result in the smoke test. The first shoe that I'm reviewing in 2023 could be one of the most breathable that I review in 2023. The smoke came out so quickly and in such large amounts. And you can see the only areas where it didn't come out is where you've got these heavily embroidered areas on the upper. But overall, this exposed kind of open knit fly knit upper that Parley and Adidas have created makes them very breathable and definitely not gonna give you any hot and sweaty feet in these, especially in the upcoming spring and summer months. Now moving on to their price. Now these come in at a well-rounded 100 pounds, which is 10 pounds more than the standard Adidas Supernova 2s. But with this Parley version, you're paying the extra 10 pounds, I think for looks, because they look better on feet. I think aesthetically, they're just nicer and easier on the eye. And also you're getting this fly in the upper, which I guarantee is gonna be much lighter weight than the standard branded upper you get with the Supernova 2. So I think that 10 pound increase is incredibly reasonable, but if you can't stretch that, don't forget, you're gonna have the same midsole and outsole combination on the standard Supernova 2. So overall, 90 pounds for them probably is gonna be a very good price too. Now moving on to my overall score for these shoes, and I can't give these Adidas Supernova 2 Parleys anything else other than five stars, which did surprise me because I didn't expect much from these when I ordered them, but they have been a nice surprise, especially for the well-rounded price of 100 pounds. Yes, I would love to see an all-in-one boost midsole for these, but that's when you're gonna start creeping up to the 150, 160 mark in terms of price. So having kind of an entry-level boost shoe that offers you a really nice, comfortable feeling underfoot, and it also has this combination with this firm midsole, which I think really works. Just, I think overall, it's just a really nice shoe from Adidas, and at 100 pounds, I think it's gonna mean that it's gonna be a lot more affordable for people, and a nice entry-level boost shoe. Now, if you've liked what you've seen today, please do not forget to give the video a thumbs up like before you leave. Drop any comments. You can also follow me on Instagram and hope to see you again soon. Bye.